Hi and welcome guys, here is a new Unreal Engine tutorial about blueprints and plan spaces for beginners. I will explain how these parts work together for a third person character. You all know this mannequin used in the third person character template and I think Unreal did a very good job for the animations, the movement and the camera here. But in order to reuse or change this setup, you have to understand what all the components do. So let's open the character blueprint. Here are the nodes for the character input. I won't go into detail for this, I just want you to know that this blueprint is responsible for the user input and the movement of the character, which is done by the attached character movement component. In the viewport you can see the camera and the skeletal mesh added to the capsule component. You can adjust the rotation and position of the camera, for example, to change the camera's view onto the player during the game. But now let's have a look at the character setup. The mannequin character folder contains the skeletal mesh. You can double click and open it and when you switch to the skeleton you can see the setup of the bones. The animations can be found in the animations folder, the mannequin has the animations idle, walk, jump and run. But to control these animations two other components are used. The first one is the animation blueprint. It contains a variable that defines if the character is in the air, but the most important one is the speed variable. When you set the value of the speed variable here in the editor, the animation of the character changes from idle to walk and finally to run, or better to say, it blends. So let's have a look where this value is set in the blueprint. I right click this variable and select find references. And when I click on set speed, you can see that it is actually set here, the vector's length of the character's velocity is used as a value for the speed. This means that when the character is moved, the speed variable is changing. Great, but why does the animation change as well? This is caused by the second important component called the blend space. The blend space is used in the state machine of the anim graph of the animation blueprint here. More precisely, it is a node in the state idle run. I open this state and this is the blend space node with the speed variable as input parameter. So what does this blend space node do? Let's open it. Here you can see this green pin which represents the current speed value. Depending on this speed, the animations change from idle to walk and finally to run. So let's see how this works. The animations are added to this blend space. The speed, which is the value of the horizontal axis, has a range from 0 to 375. Idle is played at a speed of 0 to about 90, then it is blend to walk and interpolated to run, which is set to the speed's maximum of 375. So let's see what happens without the blend space connected. I disconnect the speed here and then I start the game. There's just the movement and the rotation of the character but no animations are played or blended. Very boring, just the default idle animation. So let me show you how to set up an own blend space. Right click and select animation, blend space 1D. Then choose the skeleton, which is our mannequin. And then I rename and open it. First I drag in the animations, just the idle and the run animation to keep it simple. The idle are set to the start and the run to the end of this value bar and the maximum of the speed I again set to 375. And when I move the green pin now the blending is already applied.
Okay, now we have to set some parameters. The target weight interpolation are set to 5 for smoother interpolation and for the interpolation time I found out that 0.2 is a good value for realistic results. Then I go back to the idle run state of the animation blueprints anim graph and connect the new blueprint with the speed and the final pose. And when I start now, there is almost no difference that you can recognize. Although we didn't add the walk animation to the blend space, just the idle and the run animation. So just to demonstrate that our new blueprint is really working, let me change the run to a different animation in the blend space, like jump. Okay, and this looks a bit like Monty Python's silly walk, but anyway. Let's stick to this, start the game and see how this comes out. Yeah, <laughs> as expected. So that's it guys, I hope you find this interesting and in the next one about Unreal Engine I'll show you how to change the skeletal mesh of the third person character. Thanks for watching this, stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you come back soon to JNN.